Jackie X, the greatest living Belgian, one of the greatest motorsport all-rounders of all time, uh, and a real ambassador for Porsche. Great to see you in London, here at Porsche Centre East London. Good to be here. Oh, well, it's more than uh, better. I think the opportunity to meet um, the real fan of the Porsche brand, it's quite something, because they are the soul of uh, the Porsche industry. You joined Porsche in 1976. You were still a Grand Prix driver at the time. Was that an exciting part of your career, to join such a famous mark? Well, you know, the success in motorsport depends totally from the people you are with or the brand you are with. Um, without any discussion, uh, the fact that I had the chance to join Porsche for uh, 10 years uh, made a big part of my success. And you are what you are because around you, you have a large number of people. Unfortunately for them, most of the time, they are never un underneath the spotlights. But uh, the success of Porsche, the legend of Porsche, the um, iconic idea you can have uh, of a Porsche, yes, it has been made through the years, through the industry, but also to, through motorsport. Everybody I've spoken to about your relationship with Porsche says you were very much a team player. Uh, you were the most focused, I don't the most... See, I don't see any other way. That's to right. win, frankly. It's a team, uh, a team effort. But uh, it's true to say that we had a very strong collaboration, but this collaboration only works because in long distance you have some partners. All together, we made it, uh, we made it possible. Formula One was selfish. It's just you and the car. You do, uh, you do what you like to that car, and you've got to live with the consequences. In sports car racing, you're sharing whether it was Derek Bell or Jochen Maas, was that something that you found difficult initially? Mm, in motor racing, you have different qualities. Yes, you, in single-seater, obviously, you have to be egocentric, selfish, whatever. Uh, in long distance, yes, you have to share because you have the common interest to finish the race first on a long distance uh, uh, track. And uh, the quality of the people around, around you is very important. And there is a huge satisfaction when you are for Porsche. It's uh, the fact that you have a winning car from the start. Okay, finally, tell me about this beast here. Ah, that one. Car. That one, uh, I did the Paris Dakar in the early days. I came back once to Porsche when I was already there seeing the safari car and I say maybe it's a good car to do the Paris Dakar and as every time in life it's a matter of timing the timing the Porsche was developing the first four-wheel drive car so um, as you know the 953 yeah uh, racing um, for Porsche it's one point but it has to be the base of a development for the future so they were de developing that four-wheel drive transmission and the thing is, we did it with a 911, with, with that car, with a twin turbocharger and everything. And uh, nobody thought it was possible, but Porsche won two times out of three. Mm. You finished second in this car, didn't you, in 86? Yes, 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 yes. I that mean, car was doing uh, 230 kilometers per hour in the desert. It's fast. Mm. Uh, it's a huge privilege and a pleasure to have you. Look forward very much to, to more fun and games on the stage later, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you.